Hey guys, this is Megan with Left and Knots, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the baby bean or mini bean stitch. As you can see here, it, it's a simple stitch that makes a lot of awesome texture, and it's the stitch that I use in my baby bean baby blanket, which is a free pattern you can find on my blog, www.leftandknots.com. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, this is a really simple stitch. Um, but it provides a lot of nice texture and it looks really nice by itself um, or in stripes like I did with the blanket. You start by chaining an even number of chains and you're going to work into the second chain from your hook by inserting your hook yarning over pull through one now yarn over your hook like you would for a half double crochet or a double crochet, but insert your hook back into that space you just worked into. Yarn over, pull up another loop. So you have one, two, three, four loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all four. Now you're going to chain one, skip one. So you're gonna be working into this stitch right here. So you'll insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, pull up a loop, one, two, three, four loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all of those loops. So I started with just a chain of 14 here as a demonstration. I'll go ahead and finish this first row and then I'll show you how to move on to the second row. Okay, so you can see I've finished my first row of the baby bean stitches. I said I chained 14 and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clusters there. So in the last space, in that last chain of the row, I just did another of the baby bean stitches and then I'm going to chain one to move up to the next row. Then I'm going to work my first bean stitch into this first stitch of the row. So again, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all four, chain one, skip one, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all four loops, chain one, skip one, and continue with that pattern across. Like I said, this stitch is really very easy and it makes this awesome texture. You can see it showing up already. And the other thing I like about it is it, it doesn't have a lot of big holes in it. Sometimes textured stitches can leave a lot of big holes. Um, there's some air space in, in between these stitches, but not much. And I kind of like that for a blanket. So like I said, this is the stitch I use in the Baby Bean Baby Blanket that you can find on my blog, leftinknots.com, along with a lot of other free patterns and video tutorials. So if you haven't been to my blog, check it out, leftinknots.com. And I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the Baby Bean or mini bean crochet stitch.